So, streaming services, you probably have some. The big ones right now are Netflix, Hulu, and Disney+, Plus, but there are a ton more. Like Funimation, which is specifically made for anime. And Crackle, which is made for people who couldn't afford Netflix. Now, with all these streaming services booming right now, it's hard to believe that they actually are making the same mistakes that cable was making about 20-30 years ago when Netflix came around. Now, television actually started out in the 1920s, but it didn't actually get big until the 1950s, after World War II when it was considered not dangerous to broadcast how America was going. After the 1950s, you actually started to have TV shows and stuff. Series that were there purely for entertainment, not for information like it was with the 1920s, where most broadcasts were actually news reports. During this time, television actually started to explode. It was the new standard for entertainment. But during this time, one entertainment medium was having its audience leave in favor of cable. It was radio because the new entertainment standard was cable. While radio never actually really died, you could say it died during this time as the main entertainment medium. After this, the main entertainment medium was television. Soon enough, cable came around. After this, VHS and Betamax became a thing. I don't have to tell you which one came out on top, but VHS was a big competitor to television. It recorded movies and shows so you didn't have to watch them live, and you actually could remove the ads. But companies actually started thinking about this, and they actually solved it by making VHS movies very expensive. After this, we're going to enter the 2000s, and we are going to enter the point where you have all been waiting for. Netflix actually became a thing, but it wasn't a streaming service yet and it actually mailed DVDs. The whole thing behind Netflix was that there was no late fees, so even if you returned a DVD late, there was no late fees for it. Blockbuster always had to charge you enormous prices for that. There wasn't a lot of differences between Blockbuster and Netflix, but the one difference there was made a huge difference. Netflix looked at its competitors and actually studied them and wondered, how can I do that? For example, they looked at the rise of YouTube and knew it was going to become a big thing to watch TV online. So what did they do? They made their own streaming service that was available on Xbox, PS3, and all major devices. But then after that, Hulu became a thing. Now, obviously, when Hulu became a thing, there wasn't any problem with streaming services. What's another $10 out of your wallet? But then video games started doing it, so that's another $10. Then Disney Plus became a thing, and that's another $10. Then HBO Max became a thing, and that's another $10. And then ESPN Plus became a thing. And that's $10 saved, because nobody really got that. And then somewhere before that, DC made their own streaming service. That was actually pretty good and had all the good uh, DC movies. But the problem with that is that it was very specific. DC Universe streaming was for a DC fan. But also most of the stuff on DC streaming online is also on HBO Max. Now do you see all these companies? Remember this. Now, as this was all happening, cable had been a thing for a while. The problem with it was that it was very expensive. Cable packages could cost you over $200 per package. Granted, these contained a lot of channels, but over $200 per package? Yeah, I'm going for 15 bucks for Netflix. And then I'm going for another 20 bucks for Hulu. And then I'm going for another 6 bucks for Disney Plus, because that's just a steal. And then I'm going to pay another 10 bucks for HBO Max. Haha, <laughs> not you, ESPN Plus. But you see what I mean? The whole reason you switched over to streaming services was because these uh, cable packages were expensive. But now since streaming services want this cut out the middleman approach and just want their own streaming services for everything they own, it's slowly becoming cable packages again. This is the same thing. The only difference is now I can watch all this on demand. If everybody starts making streaming services, eventually there is going to be no streaming services because people aren't going to be spending so much money for the thing they tried to get away from. 
A while ago, Netflix actually removed The Office from streaming because they wanted it on Peacock, another streaming service that actually owned The Office. I think with all these new streaming services coming up, that's the reason piracy has gone up this year. And I think if this continues with more and more streaming services, eventually people are not going to put up with it and are just going to be going back to pirating. I mean, the whole reason Spotify was so successful in the early 2000s was because it made music readily accessible, and Netflix did the same thing with TV shows. But now Netflix is its own worst enemy. If it wasn't for Netflix, none of this would have happened. None of these streaming services would have popped up. Anyway, that's my thoughts on the topic, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe to iOx, and bye, guys.